As a videographer, whether you're a professional or a beginner, everyone is trying to get the most quality out of their videos. And one of the best tools out there to help you get the best quality out of your videos is an external camera monitor. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should consider picking up a camera monitor for yourself because it will change your life. First and most obvious reason to get yourself a camera monitor is having a nice, big, bright display. Now the screen on most cameras are generally pretty fine, but it's nothing compared to getting an external monitor. A camera monitor provides a much larger and brighter detailed image of what you're actually recording inside of your camera. Now, if you know you're gonna be shooting in a lot of bright environments, make sure to get yourself an ultra bright monitor. I personally love this Andy Cine C5 monitor. It's surprisingly bright. It's kind of that mid to lower tier pricing, but it's super bright and provides a lot of really good features. Regardless of what camera monitor you have though, it's gonna change your life just by having this nice big display that's so much better than the one that's built into your camera. The second reason to get a camera monitor is for exposure assist tools. Most camera monitors are packed full of different features to help you nail the exposure of your image every single time. Tools like waveform and false color are built into most camera monitors out on the market, but pretty much zero cameras have them built in. So having an external monitor to make sure that your exposure is perfect across the entire image is super helpful to have. The last thing you wanna have happen on a shoot is to underexpose something or overexpose something because you didn't have the proper way to measure exposure. Reason number three is the focused assist tools. Now, a lot of cameras have built-in focus peaking, which certainly helps in a lot of situations, especially if you're shooting manual focus. But having a nice big display with the focus peaking is a really nice combination to have. And on top of that, monitors like this Andy Cine allows you to actually zoom in and check the focus of your image on top of focus peaking. So basically ensuring that you never miss focus anytime you're shooting your videos. The fourth reason to get a camera monitor is because you can add in your own LUTs. This is probably my favorite feature of camera monitors because I like to be able to see what close to a finished product will actually be while I'm recording. So let's say you have a favorite LUT that you like to put on a lot of your footage. You can load it into your monitor and while you're shooting, you can actually see what it's going to look like before you even get to the editing process. This is very helpful for me because I shoot in log footage, which is always really gray and desaturated. So I can add in a conversion LUT and I can see what close to the finished product is going to look like. Not only is this helpful for nailing color and exposure in your image, but it's also nice too, let's say you're on a job and you wanna show a client what the video looks like, instead of showing them a gray log image, you can actually show them the image with the LUT applied so it's looking a lot closer to what the finished product will be. The fifth and final reason to get yourself a camera monitor is for audio. Now you might be thinking, well Zach, this is a camera video monitor, right? You just wanna use it for the visuals. Well, you can actually use it for audio monitoring as well. This is especially helpful if you're recording audio into your camera and you need a way to listen back to it. Unfortunately, not all cameras have a headphone output, so many monitors have that feature. That way, if you're recording your audio internally in your camera, you have a way to listen to it while it's being recorded. And that way, if there's any issues that happen, you can catch them in the moment instead of having to catch them in the editing process, which which I think we've all been there and it's a terrible feeling. So there you have it. There are five reasons why you should definitely get yourself a camera monitor. But I'm curious to know in the comments down below, what kind of camera monitor do you have? What kind of features do you like about it? And what's your favorite tool? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you got value out of this video, add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. Certainly appreciate it. And since we're talking about monitors and stuff, if you wanna put some more videos on your monitor, then you can check out one of these videos here been making videos for a little while and I appreciate you checking it out. Well, hey, until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.